1-800-LAW-1010, 1-800-LAW-1010.com. It's Chaz Farcher, everybody. Hey, Chaz. Hey, good morning, gentlemen. How are you? Chaz from Martin Harding Mazzotti. Thanks for joining us to talk about the trash wars. Yeah, I've been watching this story for a couple of weeks now. It's Twin Bridges and, and County Waste who are fighting it out, right, Chaz? One man's trash is another man's trash is every man's treasure. That's what we got going on here, gentlemen. <laughs> Can you give us the Reader's Digest version of what's happening? Yes, sir. So this Mr. Scott started County Waste in 1990, built it up, and then sold it in 2011 for a couple hundred million bucks. He sold it for sold County Waste. Now, years later, he's come back and brought Twin Bridges trash collection. He's building that up, which is now competing with his old business. He's been sued by County Waste. So, so I, I'm hearing that uh, County Waste alleges that when Twin Bridges convinced owners of uh, Slingerlands to switch to their trash service, workers with Twin Bridges took the took a bunch of dumpsters and, and, and a bunch of bins that County Waste had located on the site and abandoned them in a parking lot of the Price Chopper. Is that is that that sounds really really that sounds rough, man? That's like that sounds illegal. <laughs> Yeah, so, so we got some business competition here, and County Waste alleges there are some dirty tactics that employees are encouraging people to switch trash companies, saying that Twin Bridges is taken over for County Waste, saying that Twin Bridges is a Canadian company, they're anti-American, uh, that County Waste is a Canadian company, well, anti-American. I will say this, Chaz, things. the uh, the owner of uh, Twin Bridges sold two of his uh, American uh, trash companies to Canada for $750 million. Uh, there's a lot of money in trash. And like I said, he previously sold County Waste to the current owners for 300 Now he is building up Twin Bridges with an eye and eventually probably selling that company as well. So we got a lawsuit in Albany Supreme Court. There's an allegation that Twin Bridges is encouraging people to breach their contracts with County Waste. We got a lawsuit for six figures in damages and what we call punitives, which is not, not contractual damages, not actual numbers that the company can show their loss, but they want the court to punish Twin Bridges for their actions. Do we know if Amy Coney Barrett will recuse herself from, from <laughs> this if it gets up that? Different Supreme Court. Different Supreme Court. Court. Yeah. So, yeah. Chad, so what, what's, the, what's the lawsuit now that a guy who sells a company for you know, hundreds of millions of dollars, normally there's a clause in there where he won't compete against that company. Is that the argument? That That's probably part of it, but I doubt that County Waste has a good leg to stand on. Non-compete and non-solicit are a common part of any of these agreements, but they've got to be limited in duration and geographical scope. So when we're talking about duration, usually a few years. And remember, he sold County Waste in 2011, and we're eight years down the road now. So that clause has probably expired. It seems like it's more like what what we would call a tortious interference with a contract. And what that means is Twin Bridges is encouraging County Waste uh, customers to violate or breach their yearly contracts the, that they have with County Waste. He sounds and like that's a, the legal he, argument. He, okay. he, he sounds like a robber baron to me. <laughs> he sounds like a guy who knows how to build up a business and then sell it and then build up another one and sell it. Even I wish I knew how to do that because he's making money hand over fist. It sounds like a guy who doesn't know how to relax because if I sell <laughs> $100 million worth of anything, I'll be on the island. <laughs> Thank you. $700 million, <laughs> Sam, right? <laughs> right. So what do you think, Chad? Just your, you Tell know, you, Twin Bridges that they can start offering their trash men to come in and take a dump in your house and see what happens. County Waste can do that. County Waste can do well, that. Quinn has a, has a really good relationship with his trash guy. Yes. So he's he has never, a, he's he has never a, asked to do it, but he knows he can. He does have an open invitation. And Tara actually invited him a long time ago. What, what is your, as a seasoned uh, attorney, Chaz, what is your gut telling you about this? It, it sounds to me like County Waste is kind of feels like they're in trouble and they're losing a lot of business and they're doing anything to slow the tide. So, you know, competition is good and it's encouraged in this country. We want competition, but... Got to be on a fair playing field. Got to be ethical. You can't be telling people that county waste trashmen will come in your living room and take a dump, as Mr. Quinn so eloquently put it. No, I've invited. You know? I've invited him if he needs. You know, it's a long day dumping trash. <laughs> no, no pun intended. Uh, I, I, we'll see where the lawsuit goes. But it sounds like there's some fair competition with maybe some underlying unethical business practices, and maybe this is a way to get Twin Bridges to play on a level playing field aside from just collecting trash for less money, or they're offering customers a year free and right. just to get the switch. But it's funny, Chaz. I think your analysis is spot on because I've been in on some meetings behind the scenes yes, uh, yes. as far as advertising, and I know County Waste was looking for some ways to cut back into Twin Bridges because Twin Bridges really 
cut into him. Yeah, I mean, everybody, him, like, so. even I turned the guy away at the door. Uh, he came up and offered free garbage, free garbage. To, I said, no. No, I'm loyal to County uh, Waste. Quinn's brand loyal. Yeah. Uh, how's the trash out in Chatham? Things getting removed, removed on, on time? Really? Is that, that, that that's well, where I'll you're tell you at? What, we, 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 got, <laughs> we, we got County Waste, but after doing this story, I'm calling Twin Bridges uh, later on today. See? Why? <laughs> what, what, what from Why? this story made you want to do it? They sound like good people. I don't know. I don't know. We have county waste. I don't think there's any options out by me. Okay. Well, All right. Yeah, I, I was surprised when I learned there was options out by me. What are your other options? Uh, Twin Bridge is an option oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. for me. Yeah, and I've lost nice. a lot of people on my street. Yeah. Uh, look, there's, there's a lot. We also have Sopranos. You have Google. You got to have other things other than just Google. But we, we, I was going to say, we've all seen the Sopranos. There's a ton of money in trash. Oh, a ton. Yeah, no question well, about that. Do it like they do out in the backcountry. Throw it all in the yard and set it on fire. You don't got to pay anybody. Right. You just have 25 bucks for a 55-gallon drum. <laughs> you burn everything out there. Are either of you guys worried about getting a visit from one of these guys with no, his nose no. a little bent to the side? Chaz, you've done an excellent job breaking this trash wars down for no, us. No, it was okay. I thought he was great. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Chaz Parcher from Martin Arguing Mazzotti, 1-800-LAW-1010, 1-800-LAW-1010.com. See you, brother.